Hi students, welcome back. Now let's see the another example here. So in this example, uh, I need to check whether the grammar, whatever the grammar they are given. So we have to determine whether this grammar is ambiguous or not. Suppose if it is an ambiguous grammar, we have to construct an unambiguous grammar. How can you say that the given grammar is an ambiguous grammar? If this is uh, the grammar, if the given grammar is generating more than one leftmost derivation or one rightmost derivation or even it is generating more than one parse tree. So let's check whether it is generating more than one parse tree or not. So further the first step is let's take one input string. Let us consider one input string. So we need to parse that input string. Uh, let me take id plus id plus id. So this is an input string I had taken. Now I need to construct the uh, parse tree for the given grammar. So S is a start symbol. Let me take. So first it is sorry. S here is a sorry. S plus S. So S is replaced with S plus S. Again I replaced S is replaced with plus yes now s is replaced with id 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 so this is one grammar uh, one parse tree this parse tree can be represented in another way that is s is replaced with s plus s and this s is replaced with s plus s and this is replaced with id 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 so these are the uh, the same input string is can be represented in two different parse trees. Okay, this is one way and this is another type of parse tree. So, I can clearly conclude that this is an ambiguous grammar. Suppose if it is generating, uh, means here it is generating an ambiguous gra grammar, I need to construct an, an ambiguous grammar for the given productions. So, you have to do the left recursion. So, how you can do the left recursion? So, here uh, whatever the productions that they are given, uh, this is ambiguous grammar s plus s and s determines id is the ambiguous grammar ambiguous grammar now construct the unambiguous grammar how i can construct so in place of s i'm just replacing with the id because the id okay this is a terminal the terminal if you can if you can replace the terminal with the non terminal with the terminal then the ambiguity will be reduced so according to the rules so this is left recursion s determines s plus id and s is id okay then it can generate only one parse tree that is s s plus id id okay so again you can go for the s plus id s plus id sorry so if the, if you if you take the same string id plus id plus id if you take the same string this can be generated with s plus id so id plus id plus id you will get only one parse tree so then you can clearly con say that this is an unambiguous grammar so whatever you have taken uh, it's uh, this uh, grammar is only generating only one parse tree so ambiguity will be removed. This is a way you have to construct. Let me take one more example to explain this ambiguous grammar. So this time I am taking one productions like S determines S plus S, S to star S and I am just taking one ID. Okay. Now I, I need to parse three by taking the input string as id plus id star id so let's first construct the parse tree for the given uh, productions s s plus s is replaced with the s plus s the first production and again this s i can replace with s star yes because i need to parse this string so in place of s replace with id so id plus id star id okay you parse the string so now let me take the another uh, it it um, sorry this productions are generating one more parse tree yes this time i am taking the second production s star s so this s i can replace with s plus s 
so now this is replaced with id so it is also generally id plus id star id so i can say this grammar the given grammar is ambiguous grammar ambiguous grammar then what you have to do so whatever the grammar they are given that is an ambiguous grammar now i need to uh, convert that grammar into unambiguous grammar so unambiguous grammar here we have to apply the associative rules for the given production so let's take the left precursion first let me write the unambiguous grammar with productions rule unambiguous grammar so what are the productions rules let me write s determines s is uh, determines s plus s in the same way s determines s into s and s determines id so this is an uh, ambiguous grammar now i am writing unambiguous grammar unambiguous grammar so how i can write this unambiguous grammar let me show you so first i am taking s is whatever the s that is present whatever s that is present that i am replacing with some non terminal s plus t okay so that means i replaced t with s means if uh, if i substitute in place of uh, in place of t if i substitute s i'll get this so i divided this equation into uh, this production into two parts s determines s plus t and s determines t okay to follow the rules and next coming to this production so here s is s is substituted with t so i am writing t is equal to taking t star f okay that is t you can replace with the f and f you can replace with the id so you'll get the same productions but uh, by writing like this you can uh, uh, overcome the ambiguous ambiguity suppose if you substitute id in t place t can be substituted with id okay and here f is also id into id uh, and this is also id and s is all becomes the id only okay you you can parse this string you can parse the whatever the input string they are given and these productions are similar to these productions only i divided that production into multiples split the into number of productions so that i can reduce the ambiguity in the grammar it this type of productions are generating only one parse tree okay remember that so these are the examples for the unambiguous grammar thank you